Hello. This video will demonstrate how to set up integration between Terraform Enterprise and GitHub using GitHub app-based authentication. This is a new and improved integration between our self-hosted Terraform Enterprise platform and your github.com or GitHub Enterprise organization. Previously, only an OAuth integration was available, which required a highly privileged service account to be present in your GitHub organization. The GitHub app integration improves on this by using its own identity with fewer permissions, and it also respects and enforces the individual permissions of each of your GitHub users. Setting up this integration is a little different in Terraform Enterprise than it has been in Terraform Cloud, so let's see how that's done. First, you'll need to be running at least the February 2023 release, which is version 2023.02-1. Configuration is done from the site admin settings. This way, you can just set up the integration once and make it available to all the organizations in your Terraform Enterprise installation. From the VCS integration screen here, I'll select Create Global GitHub App. And then we can choose whether this is a github.com or a self-hosted GitHub Enterprise installation. I'll choose GitHub Enterprise and enter the base and API URLs for my installation. The default API URL is slash API slash v3. Next, we have to choose what account will own this GitHub app installation. This can either be a personal account or an organization account. I'm going to select organization for this demo. If you do initially select a personal account, it can be transferred to an organization account later on. I'll go ahead and enter the name of the GitHub organization that will own this installation and click create global GitHub app. Since I'm already logged into my GitHub Enterprise installation as an organization admin, I didn't have to log in again. And so here we just need to give the app a name. I'll just change this to indicate my organization. But this can be anything you like. Now that the app has been created, it needs to be authorized and installed. First, I'll click Authorize here, and this will authorize the app to act on behalf of my account. And the next step is to install the app. Here we can select which repositories the app installation will have access to. If we only select a subset of repositories, this will limit which repos can be connected to Terraform workspaces, no matter who the user is. Instead, I'll select all repositories here, but keep in mind the individual user permissions will still also be enforced. Now that the app has been successfully installed, let's see what our end users will experience. So switching over to a member of our web dev team here, signed into GitHub, you can see they only have access to three repositories. Now logging into Terraform Enterprise as that web dev user, I will create a new workspace and select the version control workflow. Now, because this is my first time accessing this as this web dev user, I'll need to authorize the GitHub app to act on my behalf. This is what each user will have to do the first time they go to connect a workspace to GitHub. And this is how the app enforces each user's individual permissions. Now you can see that only those three repositories are available to me to connect to the workspace. So to wrap up, we learned how to set up the new GitHub app-based authentication in Terraform Enterprise to take advantage of GitHub's most secure method of integration. For more details, check out the Terraform Enterprise documentation at developer.hashicorp.com slash Terraform slash Enterprise. Thanks for watching.